Good evening, everyone. New at nine, the fight for a pay increase for substitute teachers was shot down by the Fargo School Board last night with the district already short a substantial number of subs. Kelly News Team's Nishay Taylor spoke with one who told us what they think it would take to attract more. Jill Carlson is a substitute teacher primarily for the West Fargo School District, but she sometimes helps out at a Fargo public school. It's very challenging sometimes to be a substitute teacher, but it's also very re rewarding. Currently, Fargo and West Fargo school districts offer daily subs a $112 rate per day. The, the pay is just not real competitive right now. On Tuesday, a proposed pay increase aimed at recruiting and retaining substitute teachers was voted down by the Fargo school board. Carlson says the board should have considered taking another approach. There's maybe room for compromise, giving them just a little bit more um, they might see a big difference in the number of subs that they get. School board officials say the district is down 10 to 30 subs daily. And Carlson says she has seen firsthand how that affects the permanent teachers. A lot of those teachers have to step in and be subs on their prep periods, you know, on their team meeting periods, and it does weigh them down a little bit. Carlson believes without having competitive pay, people interested in substituting will look the other way. But how much should a substitute teacher be paid daily? Carlson says the district will now have to go back to the drawing board by doing more research. So it would be fair. I mean, look at what everybody else is offering. Look at the qualifications that people need and kind of judge from there. In Fargo, Nishay Taylor, Valley News Live. Some Fargo school board members argued that if they were to make the change, surrounding districts would also boost their pay, making Fargo again less competitive. Well, this time tomorrow.